from the day the nominations came out, um, well, that was that was wild. That the BAFTAs nominations had come out the week before, and we had gotten nominated for a BAFTA, which I thought was amazing on itself, and I was all excited about the BAFTA. And then the Academy nominations came out, and it was just, it's kind of like the, the adrenaline just floods your brain, and um, my phone was blowing up, my email was blowing up, um, and I was sort of just in shock that it had actually happened. Um, and then the whole process, you know, you're shepherded through all of these screenings of your movie and you have many audiences that you have to talk to and you have to speak about your craft and um, you get so married to it that you start to become very uh, um, caught up in the, in the race. Um, the going to the Oscars was it was like a, oh, I, you described it very well. It is like a dream. I know it sounds really hokey, but um, you sort of are just putting one foot in front of the other. You're smiling. You're looking around at all these celebrities and famous people, and you're standing there in your tuxedo, and you're like, what? What is going on? Winning was the pinnacle. Um, you just can't believe it. You know, they, they call your name out, and you stand up and somehow make your way to the stage but um, I can't describe the feeling other than a flooding of adrenaline um, it's like going over the top hill of a roller coaster uh, being on stage looking out at the theater is just surreal um, but then I found the whole experience to be really fascinating the way they shepherd you through Afterwards, you go from room to room, you meet with the press, you have your pictures taken, you have questions asked, you have to sign uh, posters, and it's a lot happens before you get to go back to your seat and see the rest of the show. But it was fascinating. It was a once in a lifetime experience. How early on in the show did they, did they do your category? Right up at the beginning. Oh, they did. Yeah, it oh, was did you practically that? first. Yeah, I was like, let's get it over with, um, and then we can relax and enjoy the evening. Oh my gosh, what a gift! Yeah, totally. Because <laughs> then you got to enjoy the rest of it. Yeah, the speech was given by Dom Burt, who was the production designer, yeah. and I piped up at the very end and thanked my parents. And um, because I had given the speech for the Baftas, um, I went alone to England and the designer was unable to attend that one. So when we won, I went up on stage at, in England and did the th thank you speech and thanked David Fincher profusely and our producers and my team, and Don, the designer. Um, so at the Oscars, I was just standing there grinning like an idiot while he was giving this whole heartfelt, wonderful speech, um, uh, thanking David Fincher, who really made our work look Oscar worthy. I mean, that's the one thing that you can't stress enough is that a show that takes you all the way to the Oscars it was not just because your set decorating was good. It was because it was a spectacular production for the art department and for set decorating, and that you had a director who composed every set that you gave him like it was a painting. I mean, that's a rare treat. So he was, he was going, giving all this praise to David and all I could think of was that uh, my mom and dad were home watching so I wanted to give them a shout out and thank them for letting me have this career.